This is the headquarters of Space Patrol. And men from Earth, Mars, and Venus live and work there as guardians of peace. Mala and Colonel Rabin are not answering my signals. There must be something wrong with the radio circuit. Hello, Jupiter. Colonel Rabin is temporarily unobtainable. But I must speak to him. We will notify the Colonel by special messenger. What is my duty? Rabin's receiving set is not functioning. Tell him scientific HQ on Jupiter wishes to talk to him. It's been wonderfully peaceful this morning. I'll take an early lunch and stroll through the park to look at some plants. Not that I'll find any as beautiful as these. Notification from the control tower. Your receiving set is not functioning. So that's why we've had some peace. What's the message? There is a call from scientific headquarters on Jupiter. It is being transmitted directly to your video screen. Well, Dr. Smith, what's the trouble? No trouble, Colonel. Only a most exciting discovery. Dr. Brown and I have located a lake that's got moving water. If you rub a drop of it onto an object, it makes the object move. Now, look, Smith, this is an April Fool's Day. I'm not fooling, Colonel. We've rubbed some of the liquid onto a chair and a table and even on a pencil, and they all started leaping around. I'll send a space patrol crew to collect a sample of the liquid for analysis. Make sure it's well corked. We don't want a gallosphere leaping around space of its own free will. Marla, where's Larry? Captain Dart is returning from Ganymede. Tell him to go to Jupiter. With alacrity, Colonel. Collect some moving liquid? Oh, very well, Marla. We'll head for Jupiter at once. Thank you, Captain. Jupiter's on the scanner now. Change to orbital drive, Slim. Orbital drive on. Change to primary drive. Primary drive, on. I'm switching to robot control for landing. Rayburn thinks we're joking about this liquid. Wait till he sees it. Has Dart landed yet? Yes, he should be here soon. <whistles> Wait a minute, Joe. I'll switch on my electron. What is it? I hear name Larry Dart. Does he come here? Yes. Dart, my friend. Joe, go meet him. I'll go and meet him too. I'll get some liquid ready to give him a demonstration. Favorite Jovian. Hi, glad you here. You come live on Jupiter? Oh, I'm afraid not. I don't like such heavy gravity. He's husky with you? Yes, he's in the gallosphere. Joe, go say hello to him. See you, Dot. Hello, Doctor. What's all this I hear about a moving liquid? 
Well, come to headquarters and I'll show you. Now, where else can I rub this water? Ah. Most effective. Good afternoon, Dr. Smith. I... What's happening? I smeared some of this onto the furniture just to prove it isn't a joke. Oh! You've proved that all right. Okay, have you got the samples ready? Yes, but don't be in such a hurry to leave. Where does this stuff come from? A lake we discovered. A lake of walking water, eh? Well, that's the strange part of it. The water in the lake doesn't move at all. It's only when you take out a small part of it that it comes to life. My suit's moving. Take it off. I can't. It fastens down the back. Let me do it. I can't stand still. We better catch him and take it off. Smith, Don, stop me. Stop me, somebody. My suit's heading for the swamps. I'm coming after you, Doctor. Keep in radio contact with us. I'll try. Can you slow down? No, I can't. Hurry. to the Gallosphere for my Hubbard jet. I'll never catch him otherwise. Can I help you? Well, call Husky and tell him to get the Hubbard jets ready and a plastic net too. I'll also need another spacesuit. Why? For Brown to wear if and when we catch him. <laughs> if only this suit would stop. It's heading straight for the swamps. Dot, where are you? He's not answering. Dot, can you hear me? Don't worry, Dr. Brown. We're coming to look for you now. Give me your exact position. I can't. I haven't got my compass. This is a nightmare. It's as if the suit were alive. Well, can't you give me some idea where you are? I'm, I'm about a hundred yards from the swamps. In another few minutes, I'll be drowned. Don't worry. We're on our way. Ready, Husky? Yes. Let's go. I can't see a thing in this atmosphere. No, can I? If only... Wait. I just saw something. Where? Below you. You're right. It must be Brown. Come on, let's drop the net. If the net misses him, we'll never catch him. <sighs> What's happened? I'm trapped. <laughs> it caught him all right. You'll be all right in a minute, Doctor. I'll soon get you out of that suit. Uh, the quicker the better. Goodness, you're safe. I owe my life to Dot. Hey, be careful with that stuff. I don't want you to have the same experience I did. Don't worry, I've got a cork in it. Is there no way of stopping these things moving? No, I've tried every chemical, but nothing works. Well, let's hope Professor Haggerty can find something. What have you done with my old suit? I've given it to Husky. We'll take that back to Earth, too. <laughs> I'd like to see Haggerty's face when he takes a look at it.
If I didn't know better, I'd swear that suit was dancing an Irish jig. I still don't know how the liquid makes things move. It's activated by an enormous form of energy, so enormous that I've never seen anything like it in my life. But why didn't it move when it was in the lake? The more spread out it is, the greater its energy. And don't ask me why, because I don't know. There's more trouble on Jupiter. That pailful of water Brown brought back from the lake has expanded and is spreading everywhere. You mean it's out of control? Yes. The ground around HQ is quivering like a jelly. Ah, uh, the very thought of it makes me feel seasick. This is no time for joking. All the instruments in Jupiter HQ are out of order except the sonar beam radio. I wonder why that is. There's no time for wondering. You've got to find a way of destroying the energy in that water. I wonder why the liquid is allergic to radio waves. You heard what Rayburn said. There's no time for wondering. I hear you got a problem, Professor. I'm the cleverest Martian pirate on Earth, and I want to help you. What can I do? All you can do is to keep your big beak out of me affairs. What's that? A spacesuit. Will you stop talking to Gabler and fetch me another file of this liquid? Ah, this really is the most extraordinary sort of water I've seen. What energy it's got. How did that suit get out? I wanted to have a closer look at it and... Catch it at once and put it back. It's got out. Quick. After it. Stop that suit, someone! Thief! Fire! Murder! Police! Ambulance! It's got into the power plant. I'll go after it. Keep out of there. It's dangerous. What's happened? The lights are fused. Ah, the emergency plant's working. <laughs> the suit's electrocuted itself. Don't be silly. It has. It doesn't like electricity. <laughs> You're quite right, Gabler. What a clever bird you are. I must tell Rayburn at once. It's growing nicely. I'll soon be able to transplant it. Your worries are over, Colonel. We can destroy the Jovian water by passing an electrical charge through it. How can we do that? All you need are some electric discharge guns. My congratulations, Professor. Oh, I can take all the credit. Some of it belongs to Gabler. <laughs> I'll send him a sack of birdseed as a present. Where is he? Behind you, Colonel, having a nibble of his favorite food. My plant! How dare you! Why, I... I... Uh, come on, Gabler. It's time to go. My poor plant. Excuse me, Colonel. But I have ordered three discharge guns to be sent to Gallosphere 347. What? Oh, fine. You'd better tell Dr. to prepare for takeoff. I have already instructed him to do so. You think of everything. So do you, Colonel, when you are not thinking of your plants. Husky? Orbital speed zero to 20,000 miles an hour. Speed maintained. Scan of you are working. Check. Astro beam working. Check. Gamma rays on. Yoba rays on. All in order, Captain. I'm ready. All in order. Ready to lift. Takeoff program starting now. Dart's on his way now. You'd better tell Jupiter HQ. With alacrity, Colonel. I can't stand much more of this. Nor can I. We'd better tell Rayburn to get us off the planet. That must be Earth now. Gallosphere 347 is on its way to you. Haggerty's found a way of destroying the energy in the water. Well, that's good news. I only hope the Gallosphere arrives in time. What do you mean? Well, the water's spreading so fast, the whole area will soon be alive. If the Gallosphere doesn't arrive soon, it won't be able to land. 
I'll tell Dart to use his emergency boost. Let's get out of here for a while. All these things dancing around are making my headache. Call Dart for me, will you, Marla? He is in the freezer cabin, Colonel. Well, use the Zergon ray to switch it off. Time control's off and we're nowhere near Jupiter. I'll check to see what's wrong. Do you think we've time for a snack? You're always thinking of your stomach. Nearly the whole area around Jupiter HQ is affected by the water and you can't land there. Jupiter's a big planet, Colonel. We'll find somewhere else to put down. You mustn't land on a part we haven't explored yet. Goodness knows what you might come up against. Use the emergency boost and get to Jupiter as fast as you can. I don't know why you wanted to come out here. It's almost as bad as being inside. Let's keep walking. There's a patch of land over there that isn't moving. What's wrong, Joe? That part of land dangerous, full of snakes. We'd better go in that direction. The ground's moving there, too. Then we'll have to remain here. Oh, I feel so ill. If only everything would stand still. Callisphere coming. I'll signal them where we are. received a signal from Dr. Brown. The land around HQ is moving and we cannot land there. I'll switch on to robot control. That'll guide us to a safe spot. you are letting me go with you this time. We need all the help we can get. That must be Dr. Brown again. You take the message and hurry up. Galasphere 347 receiving you. You've landed on snake infested ground. When you leave the Galasphere, get on your hover jets and keep in the air. I must warn Dart. <laughs> Come on, Husky, we can't wait for Slim any longer. Give him one more minute. Do we fire these guns on everything? Yes. What's happened to Slim? If you're not out of that ship in five seconds, Slim, I'll... Lift your hover jets, Captain. You're on snake ground. What? Watch out. That was a close haircut, all right. You mean a close shave. They're slim. Your warning came just in time. Now keep spread out and aim the guns low. What about the scientists? We don't want to kill them. I'll tell them to return to HQ. Will Dr. Smith and Brown return to headquarters immediately? We wish to fire electric discharges. We'll go back at once. Good luck, Captain.
These guns are doing the trick. What a relief. Shall we fire them into the lake as well? No, the water is harmless if it's left in the lake. Where are you going? To headquarters. Captain Dart here soon. I hope so. At last. Keep out of the way. This is dangerous. It's all right, Joe. It's safe for you to come out now. Oh, it's wonderful to see everything still again. Oh. What's wrong? Having everything motionless has affected my balance. Mine, too. You'd better rest. I'll tell Earth everything's in order. Would you tell Rayburn that everything's fine on Jupiter? The Colonel wishes to speak to you himself. He is having a Turkish bath. One moment, and I will transfer you. Huh? I can't get any peace anywhere. Ah, Dart. Everything's normal on Jupiter, sir. Excellent. As soon as you get back here, you and your crew can have two weeks leave. But you owe us two weeks already. Well, uh, I'm giving you two weeks, aren't I? What are you complaining about? <laughs> well, honestly, Colonel. Marla. Contact Dart again and tell him I was joking. <laughs> he and his crew can have a month's leave with double pay. 